Hi, my name is Spencer J. Harrison, and I'm the artist in residence at George Vanier Secondary School here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And this is my addition to Dan Savage's It Gets Better project. And I'm here to tell you that it really does get better. It absolutely gets better. Um, why do I tell you um, that I'm an artist in residence in a high school? Well, I'll talk to you about that in just a minute. Um, but I want to think back to when I was in high school. Um, think back to being at a stage that uh, you were at, or maybe just a little bit younger than where you are now. Um, and say that the things that I thought then are not the things that I think now, and that it absolutely does get better. I'm out everywhere. I'm out in public everywhere. Um, I'm out to all of my family. I'm out to all of my friends. Uh, I'm out to all of my colleagues in all of my workplaces. Um, I'm out through the media. Um, Want to see the project that I'm working on? Go to spencerjharrison.com and you'll see how out in the media I am. Um, and I'm a 48-year-old happy gay man. Happy, happy, happy. I have an absolutely great life. When I think back to being in high school, um, I thought it wasn't a very safe space. When I think back to being in high school, I was confused with who I was. When I think back to high school, I think about not really being sure how people would treat me if they knew some of the things um, that I thought about myself. And so I stayed pretty low on the radar. I tried to not really be seen and not really be that very visible in the school. Though I was really involved in drama and really involved in art, um, in those ways I was really seen, but outside of that, I stayed pretty low on the radar. I was called freak show by most of my friends. Um, it was a term of affection, um, and it talked about, that name was really about the fact that I was a bit of a freak show. I was a bit of a class clown. I was um, really involved in theater, really involved in art, um, and my friends called me that quite affectionately. Then later, others called me that not affectionately. They didn't really use the word fag back then, uh, so that's how they said it instead. Why do I tell you the freak show? Well, what I'm doing right now as the artist in residence in this high school is I'm painting a freak show. Um, I'm painting a project that is my PhD dissertation. It's the first time in Canada that anyone has ever painted a PhD dissertation, and I'm painting a freak show. It's a circus tent that I'm painting where the outside images of the tent talk about the, the things that are perceived about gay people and the inside of the tent are really images of how I perceive myself and how different those two things are. It gets better. It absolutely gets better. Yes, there are still people that think about me in the ways that I'm perceived on the outside of that tent, but most of the people that know me, most of the people that love me, um, think about me in the way that I think about myself, the images from the inside of that tent. If you're thinking right now that you're in a state where you need to harm yourself, um, please don't. That needs to stop. We need to stop that. We all need to be together and stop that. Um, are you in an isolated community right now? Are you in a place where you feel really isolated? And being isolated, feel that there's nowhere to turn. Well, there are places to turn. Um, one of my closest friends, his name is Mike Freeman. And when you're finished watching this video, go and search his, because he's done one for the project as well. Um, Mike Freeman's one of my closest friends. He's the person that I talk to most frequently about the issues of homophobia and facing it and dealing with the crap and the bullshit in the world. Um, I've never met him. Uh, I met him online through a social networking site. Um, we talk lots about our lives, we talk lots about our families, we talk lots about the work that we do. Um, he's involved in the GSA program. Um, I'm doing this project here. And we support each other. We help each other out. He's one of my closest friends in confronting uh, the homophobia that I face sometimes. And I've never met him. Um, make sure that you reach out to people if you're in that state. Make sure that you reach out and get the help that you need because you know what? If you do something to yourself, they win. And it, it's, just not, uh, it's just not something that you want to have happen. You don't want them to win. Um, it's going to get so much better. And yeah, there's going to be bumps along the way, but it's going to get so much better. You will be surrounded by people who love you for every part of who you are. 
it absolutely gets better. Thanks. <laughs>